Action. Action. Video, I think. You've got an hour's take, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. This is how to read a Mena Sports Punch 2 <laughs> from scratch in the freezing cold. Okay, right. Now, I'll, uh, just forgive me, Karen, on then, yeah? You walk away. nose cap and the nose batten which is the batten with the string on the end oh, yeah. and leave those sets at the front of the air time for later use. You'll notice there's four tie downs on the wing evenly spaced and where the pads are. And so that, let me before you photograph that let me just they still be flying on it. This is very helpful, Phil. Thank you. Okay. Next thing is we take the time, all, all of the four times of the wing. If you ever have to de-rig a wing, you've got a little flap that comes up the middle, and it, so that flap protects each bit from each other, and that all, okay? Yep. Yeah. That comes off. Just get those away from the wing a bit. So if you have grease though, which I have, then you'll hopefully not get so much crap on the side. These drop in the back there. The next thing is to assemble the eighth frame. It will start to make a little bit more sense why, when I ask you to do the pre-flight checks, the things I ask you to check mm. are because it's the things that you touch when you rig and de-rig an aircraft. Now you can see this is all well lubricated, so I need to make sure I'm not going to get crap, actually, get crap on me <coughs> gloves, because I'm going to touch the cell later. <coughs> that comes out, see so it's covered in crap. But in the winter we haven't got a lot of choice because you get so much salt in here. Now, to, that joint at the moment is a bit like that, yep. Okay. So to make sure it comes, I'll just lift that and it just falls on, see that? Brilliant. Then the pin goes on, <coughs> the, pin, the head of the pin towards what's going to be the front of the aircraft. So imagine if the A-frame stand out, bear in mind it's upside down at the moment. It goes in like that and not, hmm. not like that, okay? And your, your aircraft now is exactly the same as this. Okay, so that's done. The next thing I do now is to turn the wing over. Okay. And you see people struggling and struggling and struggling, doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things, and there's no need. What you do is you put, we need to make sure we don't get grease around the wing. You turn the A-frame, like so. 
So that one upright runs down the keel. Yeah? Yeah. And using the other upright, you roll the, the wing, the bag, and everything over like that. Okay? You see, but twirl it down there, then you don't need to. <coughs> now, if you need to go a bit, I'm going to lift it just here, and then I'm going to make the other frame, and you'll make it just a moment while it's all over the show. Yeah? And what I need to do now is sort the wires out so they're nice and tidy. So it's like so, yeah, like that. The side wires, and like so. That's already looking a bit better. And right up until then, the bag stays on the wing. Now take the bag off. Take the bag off from the wing tips first of all. Spring it over one wing tip, then the other. Stand the king post up, then you need to be careful that everything goes where it's supposed to go. Now, if you, as you stand the king post up, you see that's obviously supposed to go to the back of the wing, mm -hmm. that's supposed to go to the front. Here's the left wing, but it's all tied up around the aerial, so I need to sort that out a bit. Look, mm -hmm. the reflex wires. Right, that goes to that wing, see? Yeah. That goes to that wing. And you lift. Now, looking in here, can you see the two wires that are going to tension the cross tube? Yep. There's one towards you, Mel, and yep. one towards me. Yep. Okay? And that one should go that side of the king post, this one this side. And the king post you just lift up and it just drops into that nylon block. Whilst you're there, you can tuck the radio aerial, if you've got one, you can tuck <coughs> it down through the, the wing so you can get it later on. Okay? Like that. Now, that's quite simple. And you can see everything that's logical. That goes to that wing, that goes to that wing, that goes to the front, that goes to the back. That's untensioned at the moment, so now I can tension that up and make sure that you don't leave it like, sort of half like that, because it could conceivably come open like that. You make sure you clip it and that these pins come right through the shackle, yeah, like that, okay? These are the reflex lines that give the wing its reflex, yeah? Three to the left and what will be three to the right adjustable there, and that's what changes the performance of the wing. Mm. Okay, you can see the arrangement for the area. We normally can't see this because normally it's up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. These aren't the proper pads to, uh, for that part of the wing, that's all we had. <clears throat> now I'll open the wings out. I don't need to, uh, what I need to do is just move, because I've, I've just moved the wing Two of you, if you can do it together like that, but I'm going to show you how to do it on your own. You just do it 
you do it one minute at a time. And if anything stops, anything blocks you, if you come close, you'll see the ideal candidate. See what's got, where that reflex wire's got wrapped yeah. around there? That's going to stop you, or could stop you opening the wing out. If anything blocks you, stop and have a look. Because you've got tremendous leverage with these. Can you see what's going to happen there? Yeah. What's likely to happen? Look. See that? Where it's got caught around the wing fin. So, quite simple. Does it but go? if you ignore that, you can do lots of damage. So you just open the wing progressively. Give it a bit of time. You can do it in a couple of three seconds. Okay, so the wing's now open now, it's not tension, there's no buttons in it. 